we're here at Andre Zara Gallery for the opening of Occupied Canvas, an exhibition highlighting how seven different artists, including Nina Guo, uniquely materialized their artistic vision out of the blank canvas space. The artists featured in this exhibition, including Ellen Banks, Elena Borstein, Ben Georgia, Don Hazlitt, Albert Popa, Amy Hill, and Nina Guo, have all exhibited in Andre's art before and offer their unique artistic idiom to this ensemble. Nina made her work especially for this exhibition, and if you look carefully, you may be able to make out the word Occupy incorporated into the painted maze. While it may not have some of her signature Chinese or feminist visual themes from her earlier work, it maintains a similar stylistic personality, alluding back to her previous exhibition in this gallery. This painting took about six months. There's surface tension and textural aspects to it and I was very influenced by how space does occupy and kind of form itself into a landscape. So it's about um, pipes and dizzy shapes and um, the kind of extension of the show I had here, which was called Artquakes. This has that taste of sort of the merging of analytical and synthetic cubism. With synthetic cubism, you get the color, but with uh, analytical cubism, it's basically earth tones, and uh, a grid. Since Nina moved to New York in the 1980s, she has been committed to the advancement of women and Asian Americans, and has displayed activism both in the community as well as her art. Working with a variety of media, including paint, video, animation, and installation works, she has explored feminine and Asian American identity, while working to shift the perception of Asian American art in the mainstream context. Earlier on, uh, I was doing a lot of community work with Asian American centers, and uh, we had a big thrust to uh, explore what uh, Asian Americanness was, and we used our identity and our heritage, and it and it was a very overt way of um, revealing what we uh, really cared about and how we could sort of uh, sort it out in, for the future. In the 1970s and 80s, New York was host to a large portion of the feminist and civil rights movements that were sweeping the nation. This activism also developed a strong presence in the art world, where women and people of color, including Nina Guo, sought to make their voices heard through a then typically white male dominated medium. You could see the, the lack of fairness. You would find that the shows in general were all male and all white. Art is not just being radical, but being uh, purposeful in what you believe in and capturing everything is not just from a personal point of view, but being able to uh, transcend the classes and um, the struggles of the commercial art world, but um, you know, believing in how art really belongs to everyone. To learn more about the artists who created their own opportunities and paved the way for future generations, check out our website at SinoVisionEnglish.net. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I'm Lonnie Nelson.